Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, I'm heading out in a little while to my 31st high school reunion. You know, class of 86, I guess we're a bunch of slackers or very apathetic. We didn't have a 30. Nobody nobody put it on. But, uh, you know, before I go, I wanted to make a really quick video talking about uh, the skill system in Lamentations of the Flame Princess. And, you know, do you need to roll dice all the time? And, you know, maybe even some other games that use, like, a, a, a skill system, like, you know, X and 6, X and 12 chance, like something like Astonishing Swordsman and Sorcerers of Hyperborea. Before you pick up the dice and say, okay, go ahead, roll for this, think about it for a second. Um, I've talked ad nauseum about, uh, you know, other parts of those OSR games where, like, maybe everybody with a 15 dexterity is able to get across this plank. You don't necessarily need to roll dice unless you have a lower dexterity. So you look at, uh, and or even, like, Frank Menser talking about, like, you know, third level fighter just knows how to fix his armor, you know, knows how to use a horse, uh, you know, or ride a horse, knows how to use rope, all that kind of good junk. We, we don't need to roll for that. I just assume that you're that competent. Um, so, you know, I've talked about that a whole bunch, but, you know, let's take this kind of like ubiquity approach. You know, I've talked about games like ubiquity. You can take the average. It's a little bit different. But let's just say we have the specialist, and he has, let's say, like, you know, a four and six in bushcraft. Before we make him roll to see if he can build a fire in the rain, you know, they take a look and think, you know, this is not his first rodeo. This guy is pretty skilled. Is this a very important part of the game? Is a die roll necessary? I made a lot of videos about whether or not, you know, when should you roll dice? When is it appropriate? Or when is it just kind of a waste of time? Or, you know, you're not focusing the detention on the right place. You know, if you roll dice all the time, then it's not exciting. So, yeah, maybe this guy can just build a fire. You know, it's not his first rodeo. It might take him a little bit of time. But this guy with the four and six, you know, uh, skill in bushcraft, he's that good. It's not really necessary to make him roll dice. Um, there's other times when maybe you do need to take the dice out. You know, in, in my Lamentations in Prussia game, where you can, which I think oh, those are all up on, on YouTube right now, lots of fun to watch. You know, a couple times I maybe could have, you know, not had the guys roll some climbing rolls, um, but there were some great failures uh, in there. And I, I think those are actually appropriate moments, you know, climbing up a slippery tree in the middle of winter or, or going down a well on, on a, you know, on a, on a rope uh, in dark well. It's kind of scary in the first place and the guy slips. That was cool. But do they always need to do that? No. So maybe you get your guy, you know, that, that has like the four and six in stealth. Maybe it's this place where the guards are kind of lax in the first place and you decide, you know what, this is not like a real clutch situation. This is not really tense. This is not the part of the, the session where, you know, we want to spend a lot of time or whatever, maybe this guy is just kind of that good, you know. I'm not saying you should hand wave it all the time, but this is just kind of another tool to have in your toolbox. Before you pick up the, you know, dice or say, hey, go ahead, you know, roll for this, roll for that. Why? You know, is it really that important right now? Maybe there's another time, though, when it is a particularly, you know, a tough situation. And, yeah, the guy, even though he's very skilled, he's a four, four and six or five and six in stealth, maybe he should roll anyway. Uh, so it's just another um, approach uh, to, to playing, you know, games like Lamentations of the Flame Princess, anything else that has a kind of like a, a skill system like that, or a thief skill or a specialist skill system. Before you tell them, go ahead and roll. Think about why, and think about like, you know, I, I guess the mindset is like, if a person has put that many pips uh, into that particular skill, whatever it is, bushcraft, architecture, um, you know, stealth, uh, sleight of hand, you know, whatever, you know, this represents not just, you know, in a, in a very gamey sense, you know, the increased chances, but it also represents that they put, you know, as a person, as a character, a lot of time and effort in that skill. And they're probably going to be able to do some things just as a matter of course. And you don't necessarily need to pick up the dice all the time and roll them. So that's just another technique to use uh, and something that I, I kind of, I guess, learned a little bit or have reinforced by playing Ubiquity. And, you know, but, but something that I've kind of always thought was true, you know, based on things like ability scores and whatnot. But I figured you might as well be able to use it for something like uh, like skills as well. So tell me what you think about that.